hello and welcome back to my channel how is everyone on this Friday Astro Kids so today I want to talk about the air moons and I'm gonna start off with Gemini and then in future videos I will go over Libra and Aquarius so with air moons this is an interesting combination air is very much intellectual dealing with thoughts dealing with the mind and so when there is an air moon this sort of gives the quality of emotional intelligence so these people don't necessarily tend to be extremely emotional but there is a level of emotional intelligence Okay, so starting off with the moon in Gemini. Gemini is a very neutral sign, and so this definitely could go either way. The energy of Gemini, very changeable. And so because with the moon, we're dealing with emotions, this is definitely going to be someone who can tend to change up with their emotions. They tend to go through some mood swings or can be very unpredictable with the way that they express their feelings. Also, the way that they communicate is based on their feelings. So the way that you will see them communicate will definitely change based on their moods at that time that they're communicating with you. And these people are very expressive. We are pairing up Gemini dealing with communication with the moon dealing with emotions. So these people are very expressive. They are very much going to express how they feel. And sometimes this can create overexpression. Sometimes with this Gemini energy, there's too much going on. This is a very busy energy, very much in the mind, a lot of mind chatter going on. So these people can tend to overshare when it comes to their feelings. Now, these people, because the moon also deals with the mother, these people can have a mother who is very intelligent as well. And if you are a Gemini moon, you may have grown up in a household where your mother was the influence on your intelligence the way that your mother communicated or the way that she thought things out was an influence on your own intelligence also growing up your mother may have been the one to actually teach you how to speak and how to read and this can have a big impact on your overall intelligence. You may have even just viewed your mother as a very intelligent woman growing up. And also this could give a mother who has a career as a teacher or as any position that deals with the exchange of information. And so also with this, because this is Mercury energy and Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo, you may have also grown up in a household where your mother was a Gemini or a Virgo. And so that is very possible as well. This also can include with some more challenging aspects, possibly a mother who had issues with her nerves or even a mother who was a little bit unstable or tend to have a lot of misunderstandings. Also to the extreme could be someone who was a bit mentally unstable or even someone who had issues with strokes or issues with actually verbalizing and speaking. So there could be some medical issues as far as the ability to speak and 
A person with this Gemini moon would be very analytical. Gemini is very much about thinking and learning. So this person would be very, very analytical, very logical minded. But also at the same time, Gemini has this sort of fluctuation, this back and forth. And so this could be a person who is slightly unstable, a person who changes up a lot or changes the mood a lot. Also, one of the big issues with this placement as well is with this Mercury energy, Mercury is the fastest planet. And so these people tend to react based on their feelings. And so because of this, these are the individuals that can react a little too fast. They can tend to rush to express their opinions or rush to make decisions that maybe are not best for that particular time period. There's sort of this rush or this anxiousness to get to expressing opinions, expressing feelings, making overall decisions. And this is very unconscious. These people also tend to change their minds a lot, change their opinions, change the way that they're feeling. These people can be very unpredictable. They can be a bit indecisive in when it comes to making up their minds. Also, if you are a Gemini moon and you grew up with a lot of siblings, you may feel a very strong emotional attachment to your siblings as well, as Gemini also deals with siblings. Also, you may find yourself being very curious, very curious minded, very talkative, very expressive. Those who have a Gemini moon tend to be very social and outgoing unless there are other placements that are interfering with this energy but overall these people tend to be very talkative and love conversation especially small talk because we're dealing with Gemini so this is with the energy of Gemini this is the energy that likes to experience as much as possible and so this energy tends to be a jack of all trades, but a master of few tends to move in one area and then move on to the next. And so small talk is something that these people tend to love versus getting in these longer winded conversations. Also, these people may love going on small trips or meeting new people, having new experiences. These people might also love to read. Gemini is an energy that loves to learn. So these people may love to consume a lot of information. So reading, whether that's books or magazines or online. Now also, I mentioned this a little bit earlier. These people can go through something called monkey mind where there's just way too much going on up in the head. And so these people, sometimes this can create anxiety. And so these people really need an outlet for all of this information. And sometimes it is best for these people to also work on clearing their minds. So meditation can be a great practice for a Gemini moon. Also, these people are very independent. Gemini is an energy that does not like to be tied down or feel like it has to be committed to anything. It's a very independent energy. So these people, they tend to be very independent and they tend to love when things are very lighthearted and easygoing. Also, these people, this goes along with this monkey mind, these people need a lot of mental stimulation. Gemini moons tend to be people who hate being bored, so there has to be something to mentally stimulate these people. So that is my 
interpretation of what it means to have a Gemini moon in your birth chart. Let me know if this resonates with you or if there's anything that you felt that I left out. And I hope you all have a great day. I will be live at 7 p.m. Eastern. So I hope to see you there. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining.